Hey guys, so today is going to be a nice chill out video and we're going to talk about my latest tattoo which is my sternum piece which I will put in a photo here Yes So that's my sternum piece and you've got quite a few questions for me a lot more than usual My post on Instagram went a little bit crazy but I filtered through the spam comments and stuff, found a few kind of questions that you've asked, so I'm going to try and answer them for you and tell you about my experience. I noticed there weren't many really like explainy videos on YouTube about sternums, so I thought I would add my two cents. So it took seven six and a half to seven hours of tattooing but I did book an eight hour appointment I think all of the time ended up being used because we were putting on stencils, taking off stencils, putting it all together, choosing the size trying to make it the right size, all this stuff and that obviously is really important because it means that you get the perfect tattoo in the end a lot of people really underrate the stencil putting on and stuff but the more time you spend on a good stencil placement the better the tattoo will be in the end in my opinion anyway um so yeah six and a half to seven hours of tattooing um i don't really discuss the price of my tattoos i feel like that's a bit irrelevant I mean, in theory, if you pay for a tattoo, it's going to be there the rest of your life. So really, what you would want to do is calculate the cost per day. And that really doesn't come out as much, so it's really irrelevant. As well, all tattoo artists have different prices, so yeah, totally irrelevant in my opinion. Maybe I just sound like a dick. I don't know. Um, Pain-wise, I found it to be the nicest tattoo I've ever gotten. Definitely with that tattoo artist. What I've had done so far is my sleeve, which was on an arm which I injured in a trampoline accident. So I had a lot of nerve damage and problems with that arm and it was really horrible getting tattooed the whole time on that arm. And then I also had the back of my ankle done. Um, kind of with a little mendy kind of thing. Um, and that goes right down to kind of the sole of my foot. So that was really horrible as well. That's the back of my ankle. So I feel like it was the nicest tattoo I've ever had, but if you've had the back of your ankle tattooed, you'd probably understand the, uh, the pain of that. So I guess maybe it wouldn't be one to go for if it's your first tattoo, but at the end of the day, you get through it because you had to once it starts. Otherwise you just have a line in that place if you freak out and leave so you have to get through it so as soon as you start just grin and bear it just get through it um, the artist for my tattoo is my favourite tattoo artist Warren who has done all of the tattoos that I like on myself that sounds a bit weird, sorry, but I really don't appreciate the style of art that I was into when I was a bit younger anymore, really. I've had a few cover-ups by Warren on pieces that I got when I was a bit younger and I really prefer the style of art that he does now compared to the kind of neo-traditional art that I used to have when I was a bit younger. That's just my personal preference. 
But yeah, my artist is bloody great. Um, so a few of you asked what the tattoo is of. It's not of anything. Don't think so, anyway. It's kind of like a, uh, a geometric dot work design. It's really nice. I love it. I love the different shapes. I love the curves in it. I feel like that makes it very feminine. I love the style of the dot work, but it's quite similar to the kind of dot work I've had before from Warren. And it's just really, really me. Um, how I chose it was basically uh, my tattoo artist took a kind of stencil of how big the area was because everyone's kind of chest, <laughs> if you're a woman, is slightly different. And he basically took that and while I was waiting for the appointment um, over a couple of weeks, he kind of played around with a few things. He knows the style I like, so I trusted him. And he came out with four or five different stencils, sort of designs, showed them to me. And then he had one that he kind of freehanded a bit more and didn't really stick so much to um, the drawing that he did of my size of kind of on my boobs um so I chose that one because I felt like it brought all of the stuff that he'd done working up to it thinking of the kind of art that I would want I feel like it would it kind of took elements of it all the best elements of each one kind of took them all together and then in the middle it has a kind of geometric print which interestingly I was thinking about having that incorporated into one of my next tattoos. So that was quite cool. Um, naturally, I pretty much straight away fell in love with that one. We got it all sized up. It took a bit longer because I don't think it was drawn to the size that I am, but yeah, it was worth it. It was worth the extra time and stuff, worth the hassle. 100% so happy with it. Um, meaning wise, it doesn't really mean anything. Sorry about the cats in the background. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> None of my tattoos really mean anything. They're just decorative. They are beautiful, I love them, but they don't mean anything really. I have one tattoo with meaning and it's not really even a meaning, it's just a friendship tattoo with my dad, so, yeah. Um, something that I was a bit kind of worried slash confused slash not sure about before my appointment and something that a few people have asked me about is like, how do you protect your dignity and <laughs> stuff like that? I kind of just didn't want to make anyone that was there uncomfortable. But in the end, it was all good. Um, you can cover up with like pasties or like, I don't know, you can work something out, I'm sure. But I didn't really bother. Um, I've had my nipples pierced a few times in studios, so in a way, I guess I kind of used to having to get my boobs out for modifications, like, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. If you're not comfortable getting your boobs out to get the tattoo, then how are you going to feel if people are looking at it, wanting to see it? You know, it's going to be hard for you if you can't even get your boobs out to get the tattoo. <laughs> so I'd say just like relax, chill out. If it makes your artist uncomfortable, if you're worried about making your artist uncomfortable, if you're worried about making other people around you uncomfortable, just ask, like, do you want me to cover up a bit? Do you want me to, like, keep my t-shirt on a bit? Or, like... The only thing I would say about having your stem tattooed is I got the most strange 
strange experience where like I could feel electric current in my nipple bars. That was really horrible. I had to take my navel out and it closed up. <laughs> but I had to take it out because the pain from like feeling electric current in it, maybe it was just psychological, I don't know. I can't really think about whether that would actually be a thing. But the electric current, feeling that in my like piercings was really, really not okay. It was the worst thing. Hello. That was a really horrible feeling. And also I found that getting tattooed on my sternum meant that when it was going lower down, I was experiencing like fake hunger. I wasn't hungry, but because of the vibrations, it was kind of making my stomach rumble a bit. Really, really confusing experience. So sternum tattoos, I wouldn't say they're painful, but I would say they're weird and a really interesting experience. I don't think there's anything else that I really need to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sorry that it's so chilled out. Just I'm really struggling to like put bras on. It kind of sucks, but it's really uncomfy to wear a bra right now. So keeping it nice and chilled. And I guess I will see you very soon. Bye.